Now's a great time to call Quicken Loans at 800-QUICKEN. The rate today on a 30-year fixed-rate mortgage is 3.875%, APR 4.05%. Call us today at 800-QUICKEN or go to quickenloans.com. That's 800-QUICKEN. Call for cost information and conditions. Equal housing lender. Licensed in all 50 states. NMLSconsumeraccess.org, number 3030. In the Senate next week on the latest plan to repeal and replace Obamacare. A spokesman for Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell says the intention is to vote on the Graham-Cassidy health care bill next week. All I can say, if you're voting for our bill, you're eliminating penalties on individuals and employers, giving power to patients and states. If you're voting against us, you're voting to keep Obamacare. Louisiana Republican Bill Cassidy, however, is facing opposition from Kentucky Republican Rand Paul and the three Republicans who voted against the repeal bill in July, Lisa Murkowski, Susan Collins, and John McCain are non-committal so far. On Capitol Hill, Jared Halpern, Fox News. The FDA with a new warning about mixing opioid addiction medication and other drugs that also slow breathing and brain activity. The agency warning the combinations can cause difficulty breathing, coma, or death and should be done with caution. Another milestone for New York Yankee slugger Aaron Judge. All rise for a 45th time this season. Courtesy of the Yes Network, Aaron Judge hitting his 45th home run of the season Wednesday, a two-run shot that also gives the 11-3 win over the Minnesota Twins on Wednesday. Judge now with 100 runs, 100 RBIs, and 100 walks this season, matching a mark only done by two other rookies previously in MLB history, both of them going on to be American League MVPs in their careers, Ted Williams and Al Rosen. By the way, Judge now four home runs away from tying the rookie record set by Mark McGuire back in 1987. Matt Napolitano, Fox News. A rare Michelangelo pen and ink drawing on display this fall at the Los Angeles Getty Museum. A study of a mourning woman drawn in the early 1500s went on exhibit today. It was found in England in 1995 where it was part of a personal collection. It's the first museum showing since its discovery. Lisa Letera, Fox News Radio. I'm Brett Recamp with your Freedom 970 traffic sponsored by CERTA. Discover CERTA's latest eye comfort, memory foam, sleep system, or newly redesigned perfect sleeper. Find a local retailer at CERTAretailers.com. Stop by Home Furniture and Mattress Superstore in Albany. It's packed around Portland. We've had a lot of standing water reports and water on the roadways. I-5 at northbound, the ramp to 217, affected there. I-5 north 50 minutes from the Markham to the interstate, and I-205 at north and southbound around the A4 interchanges. Summer's over, but as you pieces, it is just getting started at Day Row Ford. There's never been a better time to outfit yourself for adventure with great deals like the 2017 Ford Edge All-Wheel Drive Sport for $8,000 off MSRP. Or the 2017 Expedition Extra Long for $14,000 off MSRP. And with over 50 vehicles in stock, you'll find exactly what you're looking for. Experience the difference, the Dame Row difference at Dame Row Ford. Located on Canyon Road in Beaver. Freedom 
Red, Red, Red was the, the Chihuahua, and Stimpy was Simpson J. Cat and Red Horse. That's it was Red. There they go. Nobody knows. So he sent me the YouTube clip. It's hysterical. So Brian J., you are the Mac Daddy, brother. Thank you so much. I have been wondering that for years where I got that from. Now, to get back to the actual show, why did I bring that up? Because I was trying to make the point that, guys, ladies, Everything is leaked on the Trump investigation. Everything on the Trump Russia X-Files fairy tale. Everything is leaked. Trump's pajama choices, his choice of food at night, what kind of hot dogs he likes, how he watches Fox News. Everything on this thing is leaked. People have leaked every detail of this thing out there. But amazingly, what still hasn't leaked is a reason Obama spied. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. We, man, I need that red. I'm going to have to put that. That's the greatest sound cut ever. Red, the Chihuahua. Nobody knows. Nobody has any idea. And this doesn't bother liberals even a little bit. They're not even remotely curious. You want to talk about it. I'm going to get to this a little later, too. I, really, I got a ton of content. I'm afraid I'm not going to be able to fit it in. Don't go anywhere. Don't dare leave the radio tonight. Of liberal hypocrisy and all the nonsense they do. But you want to talk about grotesque thinking the stench of liberal hypocrisy on this one? So let me get this straight, libs. You're not even remotely curious about how a bunch of conservative Tea Party groups managed to be targeted by the IRS at the rate of, what was it, 177 to 1? Meaning like 100 plus conservative groups were targeted and like one liberal group that forgot to dot an I on a piece of paperwork? You're not curious about that. You're not curious at all about that. You're not curious about Fast and Furious at all, why Eric Holder was held in contempt of Congress. You're not curious about Benghazi still to this day going, well, they were intentional investigations, and we still don't know the answer. We still have no idea. No one to this day, and I challenge you on Twitter, anywhere else to tell me otherwise. Where was Obama the night of the attack? Where was he? How was the Secret Service agent? What's the lock say? Is he going sleepy time? Sleepy time? Commander in chief? While our people were being mowed down? Sleepy time? Had to get ready for that fundraiser the next day? Hmm. You know where he was? Oh, but there was a congressional investigation, yeah, by a bunch of hacks insiders who had no idea how to fix this thing and how to get to the bottom of it. You're not remotely curious about that, why we left our people to die. Oh, there was nothing we could do. Okay, okay, knuckleheads. You know what? You really, that, that's where your pie hole has to climb up real quick, okay? Because I actually did this for a living, unlike most of the clown liberals out there listening. And I'm telling you right now, when we took out protectees overseas as Secret Service agents, the plan was, when under attack, do nothing. That's not the plan, okay? There was the implementation of QRFs. There's other things I can't talk about on the radio, but I promise you, the plan was do not evacuate, stay there and die. I doubt it. Only liberals believe that because they're dopes. That's what liberals do. They do dopey better than anyone. They're like experts in dopey. They're 100% successful in the implementation of dopiness in their lives. They're not remotely curious about why our people die. The AP scandal. How Obama wound up targeting a bunch of reporters and the Obama administration. Nobody cares about that. But now, all of a sudden, libs are so curious about the inner workings of Paul Manafort's financial situation, who, by the way, was lobbying along with Hillary Clinton's campaign, whatever, director John Podesta's brother. Now you're curious. Now you want all the details. And as that caller in the last hour said, now you want the goods. You know, I'm sick of you frauds. And all of you out there should be, too. You wonder why America gave you the double-barreled middle finger? And while nobody... Oh, we won the popular vote. He wasn't running to be governor of California, folks. Okay? You lost everywhere. Everywhere. You got smoked in this election. You got humiliated. I mean, the popular vote. Yeah, you racked up a bunch of uh, voter fraud votes. You won in the coast, and you won in a couple of cities that are collapsing in New York and California. Nice job. You lost everywhere else. You can fly across the entire country in some cases without hitting a state that uh, someone uh, that, that Hillary Clinton won. They've given you the double barrel middle finger precisely because they are tired of this. 
Because we disagree on principles. You disagree about America being a force for good in the world. That's the difference. And I, I, I want to be serious here for a moment. I know I use a lot of sarcasm. But I'm not indicting all Democrats here. Don't take that the wrong way. I mean it. There are a lot of Democrats who really do have... They just... I'm serious. I know I have a lot of friends. I worked for the Obama administration. I worked for the Clinton administration. I worked for the Bush administration but during my time in, um, uh, in the White House and, and in the Secret Service. There are a lot...